For Archie's birthday in Montecito, Megan said that she baked a hipster cake for her son. Now, after a month, her PR team released a thank you letter and said that a Montecito bike shop gave Archie a bike for his birthday. In the letter, Megan's mouthpiece wrote, The Office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, 6th of June 2013. Dear Martin and Jennifer, on behalf of Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, please accept their sincere thanks for the thoughtful gift you sent to Prince Archie for his fourth birthday. The bike has brought much joy and is most appreciated by the family. They asked that I convey their gratitude at the lovely surprise. Best, Harrison Colcord, Office of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It's strange that his birthday happened over a month ago, but now Meghan is just writing a thank you letter, and it's beyond embarrassing that they stepped down as royals and continue to send letters under their titles, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They're nothing without said titles. However, today the owners of Mad Dogs and Englishman Bike Shop broke their silence to say that their shop didn't in fact give a gift to anyone wealthy in Montecito. The letter is all of which was Meghan's PR stunt, The bike shop donated bikes to kids around Los Angeles who were in need and cannot afford a bike to ride. Regarding the Montecito area, the owner also sent some bikes to common folk who can't afford them, but not Meghan Markle's kids. Shop owner Jennifer Blevins stressed that why would a bike shop send a wealthy four-year-old a bike? Why would I want to gift a bike to Meghan's son, and who is Archie? Megan probably made a staff phone the bike shop and ask for a free bike, but no free gifts will be sent out if they haven't clearly identified the recipient's family background. Why can't Megan buy him a bike with her millions? I find it highly distasteful when rich people want freebies. It's like a rich guy who goes grocery shopping at the food bank and thus is denying the poor of the much needed food to save his own pocketbook. Freebies should be for the poor. Meghan Markle is known for being greedy and always wants to get something for nothing without having to work. Earlier, Tina Brown's explosive book, The Palace Papers, Inside the House of Windsor, The Truth and the Turmoil, explains that Meghan would use her now defunct blog, The Tig, as a way of getting luxury goods for free. The author explains she won a reputation among the marketers of luxury brands of being warmly interested in receiving bags of designer swag. One major part of the book details exactly how Prince Harry and Meghan completely underestimated life outside the firm. In an interview with the Washington Post to promote the explosive new book, Miss Brown said, Meghan couldn't resist everything that was on offer on the celebrity buffet. In late 2018, it was revealed that Meghan's assistant, Melissa Tabati, had quit and Valentin Lowe writes in his 2021 book Courtiers, palace sources have said that the clashes between Meghan and Tabati centred on the free gifts that some companies would send to Meghan. Tabati was apparently punctilious in following the household rule that members of the royal family cannot accept freebies from commercial organisations. Her approach didn't go down well with Meghan at all. 